Hey guys, it's Georgia and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Q&A. I asked you guys to comment on one of my vlogs if you had any questions for me and to leave them in the comments. And I also asked you guys on Twitter and Snapchat. So I'm going to be answering all of your questions today. I actually got so many questions from you guys, so I'm going to try and answer as many as I can. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start with the questions that I got on Snapchat. Thank you to everyone that sent me a question on Snapchat. I actually have a few of my friends in here, so let's see how this goes. Um, the first one is from Olivia, and she sent a little message. She said, what made you want to make a YouTube channel? I love your channel so much. You have such a cool personality. Thank you so much, Olivia. I guess the thing that inspired me to make my YouTube channel was just purely because it looked so fun. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos. I had subscribed to a lot of like beauty YouTubers and I was really interested and from dancing I like learned like makeup and stuff from there like I still wasn't very good but like I learned some skills and then from YouTube I was able to expand those skills a little bit more and work a little bit harder and I was practicing and practicing and I eventually started to get a little bit better and I was like hey you know what it would be a cool idea to start a YouTube channel and I was like let's make beauty videos <laughs> and so I just jumped in and gave it a go and it was a amazing definitely the best thing that I've ever done it was so much fun I love YouTube and it's just like I'm still gaining skills and I'm still learning and that's what I love about it yeah I guess it was just because I really had a passion and interest for makeup and doing makeup and stuff like that so I kind of wanted to be a part of it I guess the next is a video from Taylor okay so I know I look really bad right now but what's your proudest moment Love you. Oh, love you too. I think she comments on my videos. She's so lovely. Um, and my proudest moment to do with YouTube, it was probably when I hit a thousand subscribers. That was probably one of the happiest days of my life. Um, but other than that, I do have a lot of proud moments to do with like schoolwork and stuff. Like school's pretty important to me. So um, anything to do with like, I don't know, my grades, like getting an A in a subject or um, getting an award at awards night or something like that would obviously make me really really proud of myself. Just any academic achievement in general just makes me really really proud of myself because I do work hard and I do put in a lot of effort and so to get like a little acknowledgement is like so good. <laughs> I have one from Dakota. I know Dakota so let's see. She has a message. Open my question when you're doing the video. <laughs> okay. What's up, Georgia? It's Dakota. I just wanted to know doing our next video together. <laughs> I'll be very pissed off if this is not in the video. <laughs> our video is coming up very, very soon. Let me know when you're free and we'll do it. We're gonna... I don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, Dakota, whenever you want to be on my channel, just give me a call and drop by. You've got a place here, Dakota. Come on down. No, but seriously, like... Whenever. Dakota, you will be in a video very, very soon, I promise. Now I have one from Rachel. Oh my god, I love Rachel. It's a video, by the way. Georgia, so I have to whisper, these male families asleep, but I was just wondering who your favourite YouTube best friend is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you so much, Rachel. And I don't know, you know, that's a really hard question. Um, I don't really have one, I guess. No, I'm just joking. Rachel is literally my favourite person ever. Like, she's just so amazing. She's just an amazing person and she just makes me so incredibly happy. Every time I watch her videos, I feel happy. When I watch her vlogs, I feel happy. She's the nicest person ever. The next one is from Chelsea. And she has a picture. What is your favourite Christmas song? And movie. Love you, Georgia. Thank you so much. You are so pretty, by the way. So my favourite Christmas song is probably Six White Boomers, which is like an Australian Christmas song. You should listen to it. Or Jingle Bells Rock. Or Santa Claus is Coming. I don't know. I out of those three, I like them all. <laughs> and then my favourite Christmas movie, I don't really have one. I don't watch that many, but I really do like Elf because I love Will Ferrell and The Grinch. 
I love the Grinch. The next one's from Britta, and Britta's actually another one of my friends from school, so she has a picture. Do you know someone called Britta? Because <laughs> she's pretty sick. <laughs> now, a thousand one hundred and something people have now seen your face, Britta. The next one is from Chelsea, and she has a video. I love it when you guys send me videos. My question is, what sport did you do before you did YouTube? I'm pretty sure you did dancing, because I'm pretty sure you went to my dance studio. So, yeah, you're my favorite YouTuber, bye! Aww. So yeah, I know who you are, so yes, I did go to the same dance studio as you. So before I started YouTube, I was a dancer. Um, I had been dancing since I was five or four. I think I was five when I started dancing, and so I did that for a really long time. I also used to do swimming when I was younger, like squad swimming, and I've played a lot of basketball and I also used to play tennis. I played tennis for a really long time because my sister played tennis so from when I was about five till maybe 11 I used to play tennis but then dancing sort of took over and I pushed tennis to the side. <laughs> Thank you for your question Chelsea, love you too. And the next one is from Danny, and she has a picture. How do you stay motivated? I try to inspire myself as much as possible. I can be easily inspired by things. Like I can just see a picture on Instagram and like boom, I've got a whole 10 videos. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, I do try to keep myself motivated by watching a lot of motivational videos. That's something weird, I guess, that I do. I watch a lot of motivational videos. If I don't want to study or if I don't want to go for a run or whatever, I watch these videos and it literally changes my whole perspective and like even if I'm feeling sad or whatever, I'll watch these videos and all of a sudden I'm like a new person. It's ridiculous, but I just get so inspired by them and it really motivates me to work a lot harder. I sort of just motivate myself and I also make sure that I keep everything balanced and balancing is the best thing ever because uh, you're not like working yourself too hard so that you don't want to do anything or you can't do anything So now I'm gonna answer some of the questions that were left on my YouTube video Okay, so the first question I come to is from Rachel and she said what are you most looking forward to in year 12? I'm personally really excited to just spend a lot of time with my friends um, I have an amazing group of friends and everyone in my grade at my school is just beautiful I don't know. I'm just so excited to spend the whole year with a great bunch of girls. There's so many amazing people and I've formed so many like, really good friendships with a whole bunch of people and I'm just really excited and there's so many exciting things coming up um, like formal and a whole bunch of other things that I'll get to do and I'm excited to see what the year holds I guess. Olivia asked what subjects do you do? So I'm doing the same subjects in year 12 that I did in year 11 so I am doing maths B, English, biology, geography and health. I only do five subjects because I got a spare because I missed so much school when I was sick so because of health reasons I get a spare. Maddie and Gabby asked what is your favorite makeup brand? I really really like Maybelline I think their products are amazing um, but I also really do like Too Faced. Steph asked what is your biggest goal in life love you love you too and my biggest goal is probably very generic but just to be happy and I really really do mean that when I say it I don't care what I'm doing as long as I'm happy and I'm enjoying my life and I'm taking up every opportunity that comes my way I will be a happy chappy and that's all that I can really ask for in life. Catherine asked if you could only have one makeup item what would it be and why? I'm probably gonna have to say eyebrows because I don't have very thick eyebrows naturally so filling them in just makes my face appear a little bit less dull and I prefer how I look when I have my eyebrows filled in. Olivia also asked what do you want to do at uni? I have no idea. Um, I had a lot of different ideas for like the past five years and I had no idea. I kept switching and I'm like in the middle now and I want to do everything. I really like the sound of psychology, speech pathology, occupational therapy, all of those sort of like allied health type um, subjects I think would be really really good. I said subjects, I meant courses. And also I'm thinking about doing law because I really am fascinated by the legal system and like law courts and like justice and all of that sort of stuff or criminology. Criminology would be really cool but there's not many jobs 
as a criminologist so I don't really know like why do they have a course if there's like apparently there's like six criminologists in Australia well what do people do when they do that course like where do they go or I've thought about primary school education or even secondary education really just like teaching and I've also thought about like kindy teaching and like preschool teaching like teaching little little kids Shelly asked what's your favorite makeup product one of my favorites is my Too Faced chocolate bar palette it is literally my life. Victoria asks what are your goals for YouTube and what are you hoping to do when you're older? So when I'm older I have no idea and people like seem to like ask me more and more now because it's like getting more towards like the cutting line but I still have no idea. And my goals for YouTube are just to make as many people happy as I can. That's what I came in wanting to do. I wanted to entertain people. I wanted people to have fun when they were watching my videos. Ashley asked fave books. Um, well, funny you ask that. I'm currently reading Liesl Jones, um, her biography, and it is amazing. I love it. So Meg asked, what is your most embarrassing moment? And I just do a lot of things to embarrass myself. Chelsea asked, what is your holy grail foundation? Easily the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the Dewy and Smooth range. Get it. It's amazing. I love it. Emma asked, favorite TV series or movie? My favorite TV series, okay, there's a long list. Probably Keeping Up with the Kardashian is like number one. Um, I really like Criminal Minds, Law and Order, Dance Moms. I like Pretty Little Lies. And The Big Bang Theory, Modern Family, Friends, all of those sorts of shows. And my favorite movie, I'm just going to read a whole bunch. I have a list on my phone. And that's how many movies I love. The Lucky One, Divergent, Dear John, The Fault in Our Stars, um, Charlie St. Cloud. Oh my god, no. Dear John tops them all. Favourite movie ever. I love it. And The Hunger Games trilogy. That's amazing. Oh, and Clueless. I love Clueless. Samantha asks, what are you planning to do after school? Do you want to be a big YouTuber? I'm going to go straight to uni. I know that. But yeah, I don't know what course I want to do. I don't know what job I want. I'm so indecisive. I don't have too many plans for after high school. I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> if I did ever become like a big YouTuber per se, like I wouldn't not like it. Um, I can't really see it happening but if it did that would be like amazing. I love doing YouTube. YouTube is like my favorite thing ever and I devote a lot of time to it. I don't necessarily strive to be that. Like that's not one of my goals but, but if it did happen that would be nice too. Charlie asked if you had to use one brand of makeup for the rest of your life what would it be? Easily Maybelline because they have literally everything. Sarah asked what is your favorite video that you have ever filmed? This is hard. Probably actually my semi-formal get ready with me which is my most popular video. Go and watch it if you haven't because I loved making it and I don't know I just really like how it turned out. Um, but I love filming Q&A's like especially snapchat Q&A's when I can see your face and I can really interact with you guys. That's literally my favorite thing ever. Cherie asked holy grail makeup product. I literally love my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I can't get away from it. It's so beautiful, so perfect and flawless. You need to get on it. So that's all the questions I have to answer today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Sorry if this video is really long but I want to answer as many as I can. I hate leaving you guys without the answers to your questions. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys a ton and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys!